Hey, hi, hello, welcome to my channel. I am Michaela, SEO strategist and blog content writer. And today we are going to be submitting your sitemap from your Hostinger website, one that you've built on the Hostinger website builder. You're gonna be submitting that sitemap into Google Search Console. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is navigate to your Google Search Console. So you'll likely land on either this page, your overview or your performance, but just make sure that the domain that you want to submit your sitemap for your website is in this top left corner. So for today, we're doing Ashley Lynn Fitness. And then the next thing you're gonna do is just navigate to sitemaps. So sitemaps is in this left side navigation panel, click on it and you'll see add a new sitemap. So what is really cool about Hostinger, at least their Hostinger website builder, is that they will automatically create a sitemap for your website. So you don't have to do any work for this. But what you do need to do is make sure that you have the formatting right when you are submitting it. If it looks like this, for example, we have ashleylynnfitness.com. The way that you create the sitemap or add the sitemap link is you would add a forward slash sitemap.xml at the end of your domain. But if you submit it like this, ashleylynnfitness.com sitemap xml and you submit it like this without the protocol on the front it'll say invalid so what you need to make sure that you're doing is doing https slash and then your domain and then sitemap.xml and then submit Sitemap submitted successfully. And that's what you wanna see. You wanna see your sitemap here and then success. Discovered pages should align with how many pages you have on your website, but that is how you submit it. If you're having any issues, make sure you contact Hostinger if you have tried the formatting. So if you have a www website, make sure that you're adding that in the beginning protocol as well, because that can cause it to read as invalid. If it is still not working, what you can do is just double check your work and go to a new browser, type in Ashley. If we go to Ashley Lynn fitness.com slash sitemap XML. Okay, it takes us to the XML file. What you can do is just copy it. See, it'll copy that HTTPS copy bring it back and then paste it like that. So that's one way you can also do it if you're having a hard time. But when you find the sitemap, it should look a little bit like this, or at least similar to that, but for your domain in particular. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit and subscribe. And I do have other hosting group setup tutorials if you would like to check those out. Until next time, bye.